Well, two teams more than ready to get this one started. And off we go from Seattle. Taking it about the one. And he won't quite make it to the 25. So out come the Seahawks now for their first possession. They'll be led out by their 5'11 quarterback from Wisconsin by way of NC State, and that's Russell Wilson. Gave the commencement address at the University of Wisconsin a couple of years ago. One of the most popular players ever to pull on the uniform there. Beginning of his career, he was a so-called game manager. Take care of the football and rely on the defense. Now, in this stage of his career, the offense runs through him, and it runs very well. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. And he will find his man on the end route, complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. This duo locked in 14 yards there and a first down. Operating from the gun, Wilson. That's caught by his tight end, Gerald Everett. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. From the gun, Wilson. And a quick throw here, that's complete. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard gain, second and two. Brings up second and two at the 26 yard line. Operating from the gun, Wilson. And that is caught, but he will come down out of bounds, says the side judge, incomplete. Absolutely no disguise on that one. They just went for it. Put him out there and said, go deep. Let's try and hit him. Unfortunately, to no avail. On third down, it's Carson, and he will have the first before he's brought down right on the chalk of the 20. They get five out of that one, and it moves the chains. Quite the opening drive march they're on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that last big practice beforehand, you go through your offensive script, you go through your play call, you go through all the stuff and establish things, and it looks like it's coming like clockwork right now for them. A solid pickup of 13 sets him up first and goal. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he is in for the Seattle touchdown. Taking it in from seven yards away. And the Seahawks take the ball down the field and score on their opening drive. Pete Carroll in that familiar hands-on-knees pose. His guys will go for two here. On the move to his left. He's going to take off with it. And he will get into the end zone to extend the lead by two more. One quarter down, eight nothing the score. Michael Dixon to kick off for Seattle. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Rodgers on the return. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. So the Colts now coming out for their opening drive. They'll be led out by their 6'5 quarterback out of North Dakota State. It's Carson Wentz. Not only does he look the part, he plays it as well. Tall, prototypical looking pocket passer with better athletic ability than what people think. Gets outside of the pocket and makes big plays downfield. Play action, now wins. And they didn't wait long to take a shot there, that's for sure, but it falls incomplete. And it's second down. T.Y. Hilton, the intended receiver. And it's second down. Now Wentz. They'll try and set up the screen to Hines. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. So many things have to come together just right for a screen pass to break for big yardage. The blocking, the timing of the pass to the runner, everything has to fit together just right. But on that play, the defense was able to disrupt things and hold it to a short game. He'll take a shot downfield for Pittman. And it's knocked away and incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. 
Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. 157 to go in this first half on EA Sports. Coming up at halftime in a little less than two minutes, we'll send you to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman is standing by. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half. And he'll take this one only up to about his 13-yard line. DeForest Buckner in on the tackle. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. That catch good for five. It's third down. Brings up third and three. From the gun, Wilson. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Intended for Tyler Lockett. That's an excellent job right there on third down. Like any defense, you never want to let them get anything started. And that would have been a first down. Instead, you saw the contact on time, no penalty. And before this drive could get wings, it's fourth down. That's to his running back, complete. And he's able to pick up the first before he's taken down at the 27. Give him credit. They knew what they wanted to dial up on fourth. They executed it for nine yards, and the offense stays out there. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. Flush to his right. And seeing no options, he just tosses this one away incomplete. Now that'll bring up second down. It's second down and 10. To throw again, Wilson flushed out right. His throw incomplete. Wilson that time trying to find Gerald Everett, and now it's third down. Well, that was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, Defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them, and I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. And that is incomplete. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. He'll get that complete to Parkinson. And they worked this well upfield across the 45. Now the Seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. A couple of first downs on the drive already as they'll go from the 47 now on first down. Dancing to his left. He'll run it. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. Ah, oh, they're throwing it on first down, but no one was open. So he gets flushed out of the pocket, runs towards the sidelines, gets out of bounds with a good gain and a first down. Now Wilson on first and 10. That's complete to DK Metcalf. And they are going to have a first down, and they're in field goal range as well as they're down inside the 20. Now the Seahawks call the second of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in this first half of action. From the red zone now, here's Wilson on first down. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Brings up After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. Throwing again, Wilson, and this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. Now here's a timeout as they're going to get it with eight seconds remaining here in the first half. First and goal at the six-yard line. To throw is Wilson, operating from the gun. And he will score! Touchdown, Seattle! From six yards away. And the Seahawks add on to their lead. That's one of the better examples of clock management I've seen. Whittled it all the way down just about and still put the ball in the end zone. And just a methodical drive and something really to take into the lockers here. familiar hands-on-knees pose. His guys will go for two here. 
Final play of the half. It's Wilson looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Well, split the difference, and they're right where they would have been with two PATs. They got the two-point conversion the first time. They failed there. Interesting, isn't it? Because the first time you go after your first score, that feels like a gamble. The second time when they tried it again, that felt like, what the heck, right? Because, as you said, even if you miss it, you split the difference, and you're right on schedule at 14 points. And he takes it the distance. No time remaining. No cloth on the field. Yeah, no flags, and it's a kickoff return to end the first half. The way this one was going, you just got the sense they needed something before half. They've at least got something on the board now. Still trailing, but a good sign. You want the third quarter? already no problem let's do it Michael Dixon to kick off for Seattle the Colts getting the football first and they trail here as we are back underway in quarter number three and a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line at their own 30-yard line Second drive coming up here for the Indianapolis Colts. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drive you deserve to come off the field, not really move the ball well. As you said, not even get to the red zone, let alone, you know, not even put points on the board. They've got to just take a deep breath, relax, try and figure out what is working, and call more of that. Second and a yard at the 39 yard line. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Not enough there for a first. No gain, as a matter of fact. And it leaves them at third and one. Third down. They run again with Hines. Boy, no chance as he was met and dropped behind the line there. They end up getting stumped twice after that nine-yard gain back on first down. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. Now here's Rigoberto Sanchez as he'll punt it away for the second time. This is fielded at the seven. A pretty good punt there, but also a nice return of 12 yards. And that will come the offense as they take over. Now we'll see what this Seahawks offense has in store with their first possession of the second half. They were able to get the ball back here, didn't surrender any points. Now they'll look to add to that lead. And how about the boost the defense gave them? Going right out on the field, shutting them down, not giving up any points, and turning the ball back over. They want to do their part now and show them a little respect and some gratitude by scoring some points. And to get a little more cushion. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. Forced out to his left. And he'll find Everett there, complete. And he's brought down after a very nice gain. That's a gain of 31 with right around one minute to go in the quarter. I guess that answers the question of whether or not they're going to try to play conservative and protect this lead in the third quarter. And I think this is something we're seeing more and more of in the NFL. Teams not playing to protect leads. Teams playing to extend them. Now he'll let this one go deep, right sideline. And incomplete as he was knocked as he threw it. And it took the ball off course. And we sit in quarter number three out in Seattle, a second and ten now. And on the left sideline, he caught it, but out of bounds, according to the headlinesman. Incomplete. So the ball a little late getting there, and it's third down. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. From midfield now, here's Wilson. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And he can only manage to get this to the 45-yard line, well short of the first. One of the money routes for any offense, the drag route. So tough to defend because the receiver can stop at any point and make himself available to the quarterback and get a completion. But I love the communication we saw there. All the defenders pointing out the receiver, where he was going, and then they're able to rally to the ball after the catch and stop him short of a first down. They'll throw on first down with Wilson. That's complete into the hands of Carson. 
And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. It's a gain of six on the play, and that'll make it second down. Another nice pickup through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect him to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs, things that they consider safe. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Well, it's easy to see when we review this that the ball needs to come out quicker because if you don't throw it right on the break, you bring a crowd of people into the equation. And that's why it got knocked away there. And he's going to look that one in one-handed. What a catch for the touchdown. Well, there was a little extra pressure with that one because it was third down. He didn't care. He snagged it with one hand like it was routine. The key is to make a play in a tough situation. Doesn't matter how. And in this case, one-handed gets it done. Terrific play for us to watch. So now a two-point conversion attempt coming for Wilson and the Seahawks. Throwing again here, Wilson being chased out left. And he is into the end zone to bump the lead up two more. And that was the old QB one-man band play there on the conversion. And look, let's face it, even quarterbacks who don't have great mobility, in certain situations, they're able to actually take the ball in themselves. Remember way back when Joe Namath against the Giants in the Yale Bowl, right? Remember Joe had all those knee operations, they thought he couldn't run it? No one accounted for him. He practically walked into the end zone. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Rodgers on the return. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Take over first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. Here comes the Indianapolis offense now as they get set to take over. And this is their third drive. Maybe the focus right now not so much on points, but getting their first first down. And when you start off a game, you don't even think that's an issue, do you? But you go a drive, a second drive, no first down, that becomes an issue. Now you got to think about, okay, what type of play calling do I have to do to get us in a spot to pick that first one up? Wentz again here on second and 10. And once more for Hilton, and this time complete. And to the 36-yard line, taken down there after getting eight yards. And now, defensively, they're going to burn their first time out. Remember, they get an extra time built in coming up here shortly at the two-minute warning. Wentz looking to throw on third and two. And that will be incomplete. Pass intended for Michael Pittman. Incomplete. It's been clear in this matchup which side has been the more physical one. It's been this defense. And here's another example on that last play. They're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Try to punch it in with Taylor. And nowhere to go. He's going to be stopped behind the line. He needed a couple, but he didn't even get back to the line of scrimmage. And the Seahawks, they'll get the football back in outstanding field position. The Seattle now ready to march out of the field. A real chance for them to salt this game away after that turnover on downs, holding a two-score lead in the fourth quarter. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Operating from the gun, Wilson. That's complete to Disley, the tight end. A gain of six there on first. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made it a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. So it's Seahawk football as we march toward a conclusion. And the scoreboard on their side, they're just looking to melt away these final couple of minutes and put this one in the left-hand column. And now he's going to use his legs. And he is out of bounds, but first he gets it inside the 10 to the 7. The rushing numbers for Wilson, maybe down from earlier in his career, but he's still a threat to go, showing it there, picking up the first down. Now that was a whole lot of open space out in front of him, wasn't it? I'm telling you, Brandon, when things are going right, they are going right. And everything has been going their way for the most part. I saw that lane start to develop. Boom, he took advantage of it. 
A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. Wilson wants to throw it. The quick slant caught. And he is in for the Seattle touchdown. A seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Seahawks capitalize on the short field as they take it in for six. They were still throwing with a comfortable lead here late, and now that lead even more comfortable. And your first thought is, is there bad blood that went into this one ahead of time that maybe they're seeking some revenge or they just don't like them? But the other thing that always hits me is, are they worried about playoff positioning, right? Are they worried about, do you need enough points in case there's a tiebreaker that comes into play later? And he'll get into the end zone as the two-point conversion is successful. So the signal caller doing it himself there on the two-point try. You gotta like that. We always talk about the ball staying in the hands of the best players, but most of the time you wanna get it to a back, pitch it to a wide receiver. In this case, the quarterback did it himself. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Rodgers on the return. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Rodgers on the return. The Colts take over first and 10 at their own 24. And now Indianapolis set to take the field. They've lost this one. Their offense has struggled. Do they try to put together something here at the end just to take into next week? Yeah, sometimes teams want to do that and coaches want to. I remember one time I was on a team and we were losing late in the game like this and you knew it was lost. It was over, right? And the coach called a running play and pretty much said to everyone, I want to see something executed well before we get out of here. And that was the message to the team. Just something to build Just on. Just something to build on, get it done, and maybe we can look at that and say, we'll get better as we go forward. Now this is Hilton on the receiving end. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A pickup of 24. And that's where the play began, the 24-yard line. Offense for them has been at a premium. You wonder where plays like that have been all game long. They're thinking the exact same thing themselves, but they're also looking forward now because now these plays are really for next week, trying to get some momentum going. To throw again on second down, Wentz. Just keeping the play alive. And he's out of bounds as he gets this down to the 45. He'll wind up getting four there on his own, but it will leave him now with a third down situation. Shotgun now for Wentz. Now a desperation throw deep down. He's got it with the 15. And he is going to have a Colts first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, they only needed a small gain on third down. They end up getting over 30 yards. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Jordan Brooks with it. And he'll be brought down at his own 10-yard line. For this defense, CD, that's kind of the icing on the cake here as we get to the end of this one. And didn't you feel that they weren't just going into total prevent there? You know, they had the lead, and sometimes you fall back and you lose your aggressiveness. Not in this case. They were still making a play on the football, and look how that one turned out. They may have salted this one away. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And three timeouts remaining here defensively, but really not much reason to use them at this point as this one is all but over. If they use the timeouts here, it's strictly for show. That's good. We got a plane to catch. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. At the 22-yard line. Here's Carson. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. So the victory here for Seattle. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last points of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they planned to do going in, whether they just played better, whatever it was, it all came together in the second half, and no points were allowed. That's a great way to close them out. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports.
It's a win for the Seahawks here as we say so long from Seattle.